Good uh, afternoon, lunchtime friends uh, and Hope Valley. Um, my name is Cami. Um, my music name is Jenny Alpert. This is my good friend, John Classic, who is joining me today. Um, you may or may not have heard a little bit of the story of uh, where I came from and why I partner with Hope of the Valley. Um, I was adopted out of the foster care system when I was four, and about six years ago, exactly about this time, I had a private investigator help me find my birth father because I didn't know if he was living or who he was or where he was, and uh, I was just really interested to know the missing link and the missing piece. Turns out my birth father, Don, had been in and out of jails and prisons most of his life, enjoying his street life doing drugs, and chose homelessness because it was free for him. And me being a musician and a backpacking traveler, I felt very akin and connected to the idea of having home be where the heart is. So one day, a private investigator helped me locate him when he was on the streets of Long Beach, California, and I came to discover that he was a musician like me, and he was just incredible. He was just the most amazing person. We became buddies, best friends, and we started a duo called Cammy and Don, the biological duo where I took my birth name that I didn't get to keep, Cammy, and resumed it and became a duo partnership. Eventually, he ended up staying with me for five years until he passed away from liver failure just last year. But during the five years we were together, we discovered Hope of the Valley, and they were so wonderful to us. Woo -woo -woo. Offering resources, information, love, and they allow us to perform together at lunchtime concerts everywhere. Um, at any campus that they had, we started at the Van Nuys Center, we familiar with the Van Nuys Day Center. And then as time progressed and the tiny homes began to pop up, we started to perform, tour the tiny homes. And eventually, um, we ended up uh, performing an entire tour last summer, right before he passed away. There was a documentary made of us, um, it's a really interesting perspective that the film crew decided to kind of follow us around for a little bit while um, we were together in the streets. And, uh, and so I do these concerts now in Don's honor um, to carry on the legacy of his brilliant transformation. And one thing I would say is that um, we never advocated for um, anything other than what each individual wanted for themselves. Don loved being outside, it was flexible and free for him, he enjoyed it. So what we did together was we shared our unique creative approach to how we partnered together and made changes. Um, so I'm gonna let you see just a little bit of a, a, a montage of his photos, um, a short trailer of our doc, and then John Classic, who's joining me today, helping me sort of bring to life the music that Don and I used to perform, He's going to join me and we'll just play some live music for you. So we hope you enjoy it while you're eating. And thank you for letting us join you today. We have a special guest. They look alike. And your dad, <laughs> he looks fly. <laughs> I didn't know if he was still alive. I'm right where I, I didn't know that he was a musician. Playing guitar and singing songs. I didn't think my relationship to music just comes out of nowhere. I'm trying to use the music part of it to get myself where I once was. The next option is a sober living home. Do you know that I know what you're telling me better than anyone in the world? People think that I just don't care, but they don't know what's going on in here. I ain't never had nobody do nothing like that for me before. Maybe someday I'll pay you for what you've done. Well, I'm in oh, your well. life because I want to be in Well, life. I didn't know any of that. Because of you. Guess you could say I'm up in the
Don. Thanks for letting me ask some questions today. Well, thank you for having me. After having reunited with your biological daughter last year, what was it like to go into a professional studio to record together for the first time? Well, at the time, I didn't even know my daughter was a musician. I didn't really know anything about her at all. She was taken away from me soon after she was born, and she was put in foster home care, and then she was finally adopted out. And by then, I was already in trouble of my own. I was in Juneau Hall from there in the camp, and I went from camp into the California Youth Authority, which led to the state penitentiary. All of that happened because of my nonstop drug use. And then when I got out, my daughter, meanwhile, hired a private investigator and was looking into seeing if she might be able to find me. And one day, she actually did find me. Now, the type of lifestyle I was living, I was sleeping in the bushes and just running around, gambling, getting high. And uh, when she found me, she brought it to my attention that there might be a, a possibility of a different type of a lifestyle, and we began getting to know one another. And what happened was, is I found out that she was a musician, and uh, me being a musician, hey, this was an exciting moment here. We started practicing music together, and then she brought us into a recording studio with some of L.A.'s top musicians. We did a couple of songs. We did one of her songs, and I played the guitar on it, and she sang on it, and the band played, and it was all recorded live in the studio. Followed by that, then we did Don's jam. We did my song, and in order to answer your question of how did I feel about the whole thing, well, it was the most spiritual high I had ever felt on anything in my life, to be honest with you. What role has music played in your life? When did you start playing? How did music stay with you all these years? Music became my life at the age of nine. By the time I was 13, when my mother bought me an electric guitar for my birthday, me and music was a one of a kind for the rest of my life on up. By then, I was already doing almost every drug you could possibly get a hold of, and uh, that led me into different institutions that I had to serve time in, going in and out of juvenile hall and camp and YA, which led to the prisons. But the good news is I was able to bring my guitar with me, and I was able to continue practicing. I found other bandmates and, and put bands together and all that kind of stuff, and I carried on from there. I learned a lot of music and a lot of songs and everything while I was doing time. But eventually, when my daughter found me, and I realized that how talented she was as a musician, I decided to put something together with her. We went to the recording studio and hired a band and man. It was fantastic. It was awesome from there. And I'm really excited to share this with people.
search it out. Um, my music name is Jenny Alpert, uh, but you can also find me uh, through uh, the duo that I had with my birth father, Don, this Cammie and Don.
Thank you.